Well, welcome back to another, I guess this is a Wednesday non-alcoholic beer review from your boys to Buffalo Happy Hour. Today, we're doing the China virus here. So, Corona is on our show, and... For some godforsaken reason. Why it's on our show is because it's a non-alcoholic, but the reason why this is interesting is because a non-alcoholic Corona is not available in the United States. It is available in Canada, though. So... Uh, this was actually gifted to us from a fan, from a supporter, and we wanted to review it on our show because we thought that it was interesting that it was, a, I mean, technically it's the first non-alcoholic beer that we've ever had on our show. This is probably the first non-alcoholic beer that I've ever had, period. So, no percent alcohol. Zero. Uh, even though I've already had a sip before we recorded, I could feel it. So, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but it's you Corona. so much you didn't even know that we had a bottle opener. <laughs> it's Corona Sunbrew, Correct. Uh, this is a good source of vitamin D, apparently. Source de vitamin D, as the label says. So there's nutrition 30% facts. 30% vitamin D in here? Yeah. 30 milligrams of sodium as well. And there's 20 milligrams of calcium, 100 milligrams of potassium. and uh, Oh, they're infusing it with vitamin D. It's de-alcoholized beer, barley, sugar, natural flavor, and then vitamin D. So they're putting vitamin D in it. Serving size is one bottle. They're like, we know Corona sucks. We're just going to put more vitamins in it. 330 milliliters. So quick history on Corona. Uh, you can have anything you want in the fridge as long as it's a Corona, first and foremost. You okay. Need, you don't need a Corona. Corona was first established in 1925, just seven years after the end of the Great War. At the oh, yeah. Servicita? No. Servaceria Madalo. Modelo. Modelo, uh, which is a company in Mexico City, <clears throat> Mexico, it. to celebrate their 10th anniversary. So there's a rumor uh, that Corona was originated in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico? Mm-hmm. The famous Mexican oh, yeah, beer US. Corona Extra originated in Puerto Rico as Corona, which rights were later sold to uh, Cerveveria Modelo de Mexico, and it was relaunched as Corona Extra. Photos show the 4th of July grocery store in Puerto Rico. So uh, apparently it did originate in Puerto Rico in the early 1900s. So fun so fact for you. This isn't even Mexican piss water. Oh it's American God. piss water. That's what this is then, huh? It's a territory. <laughs> so we'll dive into label and uh, label branding, and then we'll nose it, and then we'll have an initial taste, an ending note, and then a final rating review of non-alcoholic <clears throat> Corona beer for those that are interested in this. Except, remember, you can't buy it in the United States. So Derek and I are special. Yeah, cheers. cheers. So just so you guys know, we do tend to have everything neat, but in addition to that, we have everything room temperature, <laughs> which is why Mike decided to be a good idea to bring it over room temperature now. Non-alcoholic Corona beer. So that's what we're drinking today, just in case if anybody was really wondering what we're doing. You don't like this, and I also don't like ghost pepper tequila, so sit on a cactus Correct. and enjoy this warm beer with me. God. All right. Uh, label branding? I actually like the label. It's different than normal Corona. Yeah, they, they made the black into like a light sky blue. Yes. Good source of vitamin D. I love how they put that in there. And they're like, we're just going to inject vitamin D in it. Like, this is a good source of heroin. We're just going to inject heroin in it. You know this. what this is good for? Nothing. Having family around the table. Yeah, after a long corona. After a long drag race, you know? <laughs> All right, so label branding. On a, B, on a 50 mile runway. B. It's not a green bottle, so I can't go A. Okay, B. Okay. I agree, I agree, I agree. I agree Nose. I agree. Did you ever nose a beer bottle before? No, it's impossible. You can fit a half of a nostril in there. <laughs> it mean, honestly it smells, smells just it, like Corona. Yes, exactly. So far, there's no change between non-alcoholic and alcoholic Corona. So nose, for me, I like the smell of Corona. I'm going to give it a B. To me, I do not like the smell of Corona. I'm going to give it an F. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll go, we'll go B. Okay. I'll, I'll give you the B. I agree, I agree, I agree. I'll give you the D. What? <laughs> well, right. good, because it's in here. <laughs> Corona's giving us the D. All right. It tastes identical to a Corona. Some non-alcoholics are like 5% or something crazy, right? No, no, no. I'm no. sorry. Like 0. 0. 0.5? 0. 0.05 or something like that. Because you- This is getting me drunk they already. Can't, they can't sell it in- You can't sell it to somebody under 21 because there's technically a little bit of alcohol in there. I, for some of them. This says it's 0. 0.0, so this must not have anything. 
Mm-hmm. Well, you know. I just want to know what natural flavors. What is the ingredients of a regular Corona? Do they add natural flavor in regular Corona? That is a good question, Derek. What do you get <clears throat> on the initial taste, though? Corona. Thanks. <laughs> what if we had this with a room temperature lime? Ooh, with some room temperature salt. Um, <laughs> do you put salt in the fridge? Sure do. Domestic Barley, terrorists. Barley, corn, yeast, antioxidants, and propylene glycol alginate as stabilizer. So they don't put natural flavors in regular Corona. So they're literally giving you yellow water, and they're flavoring it to make it Corona. Honestly, that's probably what they're doing. I don't know what other out. Al- I. I've never had non-alcoholic beer before. This does taste a lot like Corona, but that has to be the natural flavors. I don't know how they do that. I don't know how you take yellow water and, I mean, obviously it's not yellow water, right? Like, they're not making this in Flint, Michigan, so it's water. (laughs) And then because of what they inject into it, outside of the D, it's... There's sucre in here, that dude from Prison Break, my favorite. (laughs) It's identical to normal alcoholic Corona. I would drink these. Hard day, manual labor. But why, though? Why wouldn't you just grab her? Like, I understand there's people out there. And honestly, put this in the comments down below. If because you don't drink not, alcohol, you want this. It's, for sure. It's because <clears throat> you don't... Here's the thing. You don't drink beer for the alcohol. You drink beer for the taste. Most alcoholics... I learned this. There's... Okay, I can't say most. Many alcoholics will tell you they're not addicted to beer. They're addicted to yeast. And when they find that out then they switch their mindset and they they work on eliminating yeast from their diet and then they realize that the beer falls off the like people don't drink because they're trying to get drunk that are that like actively have a problem they're addicted to aspects of the drink and when they boil that down within the the 10 step process they realize that they're just their body's craving yeast it's not craving alcohol is that true yeah well, either way, even if you're not – so there's a category here where if you do not drink or you don't drink alcohol, this is good for you. But for people like us, would you you would actually grab this a day even though you're not an alcoholic and you like drinking? I would. If you had this and a regular Corona in your fridge. I'm going to grab the Corona. There you go. But it's because I like – yeah, but that I don't know. I don't but know. But the flavor is all artificial, though. That's the thing that kind of gets me here. That's this is natural thi- flavor. Yeah, but that's if the, if I have them both in the same fridge and I do some strenuous activity outside, manual labor, like landscaping, whatever. I don't. I might grab this. You know what we should have done, which we dropped the ball, and we should have had an actual Corona here. To and do then what? What were, what were you going to do with the other four? No, just uh, dump them out. No, Stop. Um, we should have had that just for like a comparison purpose to see. Because this is all artificial. I mean, there's barley in here, obviously, but sugar. There's no yeast, obviously, because yeast and the sugar make the alcohol. And they're substituting everything else with natural flavor. So I, I would be – I wonder what natural flavor that is. Natural flavor is not a regulated term. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it, it tastes just like Corona. It's identical. I, Long-winded way of saying it tastes just like Corona. Yeah. I don't taste any difference at all. It's got that same bite to it, too. It's too. It is foamy. Why is that? I feel like this is going to make us bloat and burp. 100%. Now, there you go. You being Mr. I don't like beer because it makes me bloat. Would you have this? Because I think this is going to make you bloat even more. Does non-alcoholic beer make you bloat? we got to talk about this in the weekly episode. Well, tune in for that. So, I mean, okay, so initial taste, you're getting the the typical Corona note. Corona. Whatever... Whatever that is to you, heavy barley, very light wheat. Um, it's just like a, a very, I, I don't know, Mexican piss water, like everyone else says. <laughs> it's fine. It tastes just like a, if you don't like Corona normally, you're not going to like this. I'll tell you that much. Right you know now. who loves this? Dominic Toretto. Yeah, Dominic Toretto, part of the family. All right, so initial taste, what are you giving it? I'm going to give it an A. I like the taste of Corona. I'm burping already, dude. This is not good. Um... I'm going to go B, so B plus. Sure. <laughs> You're so mad. <laughs> All right, ending note, what are you getting? More Corona? Yeah, Corona's ending note is kind of flat. Yeah, it makes yeah, it I'm, salivate I'm a little bit. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm done with you this, want mine? he says. No. See, you're done with it, too. 
It's not that I'm done with it. We're done with this episode. Not yet. What's your ending note? What's your ending rating? Well, ending note, I'm going to give it a B. I'm fine with it. We weren't recording. Just kidding. Um, ending note, you're giving it a B? Yeah. Okay. I'll give it a B. Okay. I'll go there. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. All right. Now, this, compared to the other non-alcoholic beers we've reviewed. <laughs> End of list. <laughs> Correct. All right. Uh, three, two, one. 86. 81. Yeah. So, 83.5. I like you. Good job. Thanks, You're getting man. better at this game. Thanks. Yeah. It only took over 100. Yeah. There you go. All right, everybody. So, there's our review for Corona non-alcoholic. You can't even find in the United States. So, if you can grab this, let us know. And let awesome. us know your thoughts down below. Can you... <laughs> Do you like Corona? Well, I, I'm really interested to hear everyone else's thoughts, if they like Corona or not, because I'm not one of those fans. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Please remember to drink responsibly. Be a good person. Hey, Michael. I am a litter and uh, I'm sorry. I am a fan and don't litter. You're, you're a litter and not a fan? We're out. <laughs>